All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on Mage PS. As I said on the last video, I fucking miss Mage PS, dude. So like I said, I'm going to be posting here a lot more frequently. It is such a great server as well. The official season two has actually been announced today. Link down below if you guys want to check out this server or actually read up on that. But anyways, guys, welcome to the fifth episode of my Elite Iron Man. Real quick though, before we get into that, Mage has sponsored today's video. And honestly, this might be the biggest giveaway I've ever done on this server. So for the first comment today, you've won yourself a pet mystery box. If you guys want a better chance of winning the first comment prize, on every video make sure to enable post notifications by hitting the bell down below and fucking look at this dude i not only have a hell slayer sword but i also have the brand new elder bone whip the hell slayer sword alone is a crazy crazy good weapon and as well the elder bone whip is a new weapon from the new bony beast boss it is one of the best weapons on mage ps two winners today one winning the hell slayer sword and one winning the whip if you guys want a chance to enter today, just like always, all you have to do is like the video, comment your in-game name down below, subscribe to my channel, and make sure to turn on post notifications because on every video, the first commenter gets a prize. And guys, make sure to join my Discord by using the link down below as that is where I post every video's giveaway winners. And as well, there's currently a 300 mil old school runescape giveaway in there. Make sure to come check out Mage though, it's actually super fun. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get into it. It's actually been so long since I've been on my Mage PS Iron Man. Logging back in guys, we're currently sitting at 609 million elite mode damage and 11.5k NPC kills. Saying that, I have been doing a bit of AFKing at the Rick and Morty zone and occasionally hopping on, doing my Gokus, things like that. But if you guys remember the last time I was actually on my elite, I was grinding out these zones and that's actually what I'm going to be doing again today for a little bit. Currently I'm sitting at 6 full zones completed and if you guys remember, at 10 is actually when I have enough points to actually buy myself my first drop catcher. That'd be sweet and an amazing addition to my count. Bro, I hate picking up items so much. And as well at 7, I do also got myself a pet mystery box. So, in the meantime guys, I guess over to the transform horse. After killing 250, I do get myself two magical boxes. That's not that bad. Anyways, it shouldn't be that long of a grind, but this has nothing useful for me. Oh, that actually took like no time whatsoever. Completing the first of the three transform horse tasks. And I actually got myself two magical boxes. $5 each, dude. Come on, let's see what I can get. I can actually get some crazy upgrades from this if I'm lucky. Come on. Really? Yeah, it's useful at least. And magical box number two. Yo! A lime spirit shield. That's actually pretty good, I can't lie. It's a pretty trash spirit shield, not gonna lie. But it's a hell of a lot better than my arrow shield. Pog, dude. Oh, there we go. Completing the third transform horse task. Looks like maybe another 100 tokens to collect. This actually went by super fucking quick, dude. And not much later, completing the full 3-3 of the Transform Horse. That's actually Pog, dude. Got myself a pet mystery box from this. Come on, can I get something useful for once? Dude, my luck with pets on Mage is actually so bad over the years. And it doesn't change. Alright. Anyways, for number 8, looks like we're killing the Tizars. This zone actually goes by super quick. So, so I'll see you guys in probably like 10 minutes or so. Okay, I said that probably won't take long, but it's been like an hour and a half. I just completed the first task. Not bad, though. Hopefully my luck actually picks up on the dies. After the Tazar, though, what I would actually like to do is jump back over to the zones, too. If you guys remember, on the last episode, I started the Tri-Zone. I might as well finish it, grab myself a cash box, and finish out another full zone. So that's a goal after here. Anyways, this shouldn't take too much longer, hopefully. And 250kc, claiming myself two of the Christmas crackers now. Now just gonna pick up one more die and I'll be set for the turtle. But there is one thing I do actually want to check out. How many individual zone tasks I've actually completed. So it looks like I'm sitting at about 24 right now. At 25 though, I actually got myself a daily care package every day with random stuff inside to help me on today's day. I'm not actually sure what that is, if I'm being honest. Anyways, wish me luck on another die drop. This is actually taking fucking forever, dude. Okay, update. Like 45 minutes later, my luck still sucks. I'm gonna go for a little nap. Oh my fucking god. Probably feels like 5 seconds later in the video. But dude, 580 kill count. I'm actually so sad. I said it was quick. Nope, not quick on this fucking account. God damn, dude. As you guys remember though, I did say I want to complete the try zone. So that's going to be my next destination. This one's actually super simple. Literally all I have to do is kill 100 mage, kill 100 melee, and then I'm done. And then this is going to be 9 out of 10 zones. This episode, we're going to be picking up our drop catcher. Fucking finally. Much deserved. Zone-wise, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to be doing after the mages. Probably something simple like the evil turnip or something like that. But this has been like 22 hours condensed into what, like 3-4 minutes eclipse? Goddamn, dude. Anyways, I'll see you guys after I finished up the tri-zone. Bro. 
the tri zone was super fucking easy that actually took like no time whatsoever because like i said guys i only had to kill maybe like 100 of each claiming both of those and that's going to be zone number nine completed if you guys remember the goal for the episode is actually to do 10. so by scrolling through my zones the turtle zone is actually what's next but as you can see donating 5k stones will take years it actually takes so long to do the turtle zone so i'm gonna skip that for now don't worry i will be coming back to it and once again, sadly, nothing actually notable from this. I just get some mystery boxes, so I'm gonna grind this out real quick, do a little bit of editing, and I guess I'll see you guys when I've completed the tent zone and I'm buying myself the drop collector. Okay, the mystery box zone actually flew by quickly. Bear in mind, I do actually watch a lot of TV shows on the side. But there goes that one completed. And sadly, I don't actually think my zone task 2 counted towards my 10 tasks. So technically, right now I'm still actually only sitting at 9, so I do have to complete one more. Probably gonna end up just being Ganodermic Beast real quick. Hopefully this doesn't take too long, because I honestly really want to get past this zone grinding. I set myself a goal. Gotta get it completed, dude. Anyways, collect 125k flags, kill 250, and get a polypore staff drop. Wish me luck, dudes. Three days later. Yes, dude, that is amazing. I've completed 10 zones so far. There we go. Finishing off the Ganodermic Beast, you know what that means, boys. 2,000 donor points, 2,000 donor points. And back over to home. Apparently there's a fucking drop party right now. But, buying the drop catcher. Dude, that is so good. I'm actually so happy with that. As well, quick roll on a magical box. Come on. Toxic wing shield. Spirit shield's still better. Now I can use my lucky heaven stone and try and upgrade my drop catcher. I have quite a few stones, so I'm just going to spam through this. Grab myself the tier 3 drop catcher. And there we are, tier 2. And tier 3. So happy with that, boys. You have no idea. Honestly, though, huge round of applause for making every aspect of Mage PS actually free to play. Now that I've got myself the drop catcher upgraded, I do eventually want to start some boss grinding. But the drop catcher was the main idea for today's episode. Super happy that I can slowly start moving into bossing because there is a hell of a lot of rewards from the boss task. In terms of zones, upon completing 12 full zones, I get a 100% drop rate scroll, which is like $60. At 15, I get myself another 6k points and two magical boxes and a pet box. So hopefully for episode five, that's what I'm going to be pushing for. 15 completed zones. Actually, so many more zones to do. If you guys remember though earlier, I said that I was trading on my elite damage and my NPC kills over at the Rick and Morty zone. From now on, I'm pretty much just going to be doing them over at the Iron Man zone. It's just as simple, fairly AFK, and on top of that, as you can see, I can get some crazy rewards. I can get all of the upgrading gems, magical boxes, and pet boxes. Honestly, my plans for a little bit now is actually going to be grinding out some Virago. Hopefully by the next episode, I've actually, wait, if you're grinding anything out, always make sure to grab yourself a personal boss task. Hopefully by next episode, I actually have picked myself up a few drops from here. On my group Iron Man, at least, this was a crazy long grind. Hopefully it's decently quick on here. Honestly, though, there isn't much that can actually top my happiness about that drop catcher. That is a huge unlock for me. Honestly, I'm actually having so much fun on my Elite. But, in saying that guys, I do have a series coming to the channel very shortly. I haven't decided what it will be yet though. I do plan on having a secondary series on Mage PS, because like I said, I am going to be posting here a lot more frequently. If you guys want to check it out, come play Mage PS with me, link down below, and just as always, make sure to use me as your refer. This server is a super fun custom server, and they always have over 100 active, it peaks at about 150. But honestly, I've said it in the past, Mage PS is my favorite custom. Anyways guys, make sure to enter that huge giveaway today. I'm giving away not only a Hellslayer Sword, which is one of the best in slot weapons, but as well, I'm giving away the Elder Bone Whip, which is also one of the best in slot weapons. I hope you enjoy the video. All the links are down below, just like always. Anyways guys, later!